Hi everyone, this is Joy here and welcome back to my channel. I have two super fun Halloween cards for you today using products from Spellbinders. I'm using the new Open House Boo and the Open House Halloween. Now I'm starting with the Open House Boo. Now these dies go along with the Open House Door, but I'm not gonna use this first card. I'm not gonna use the door for this. So I have die cut all of my images from white cardstock, some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, and I'm using some Copic markers to color my images. So of course I've got these cute pumpkins here, and you can see that there's three different sizes of these pumpkins. I'm coloring them in YR15, 16, and 18. Then for the background solid piece, I'm using a yellow, it was Y19 or Y09. That way they, the little eyes and the mouth glow yellow. Then you've got this cute little topper here that I used some green. And I used, the other little topper has the orange colors as well. So this is, I'm also gonna show you how these glue together. And I'm just gonna show you this one pumpkin, but all three work exactly the same. Just using some liquid glue to adhere all of these little pieces. And now we've got this cute jack-o'-lantern. So now I've got my bat and I'm using C6, 8, and 10 to give him the look of black. Um, if you just use straight black, you don't get any dimension. So I just use the darker grays in the C colors. For the cute ghosts, I'm using C2 and C1. I kind of wanted him to look a little bit dingy. So that's why I also used the C2. Now ignore this background. I had a different background that I started off with and I didn't love it, it didn't work well, but I am gonna use the sentiment so that's why I kept it in the video. So I stamped the sentiment with black ink. This is from Simon Says Stamps Halloween People Stamp and I'm using some Copic markers. I'm using G07, 14, 46, and 29 for the green. I will be using the yellow Y19 and 09 and then the orange YR15, 16, and 18. And I just think this is a super cute sentiment and I don't use open sentiments as much as I would like. I think sometimes I forget that I can color them in so I almost avoid them. So I'm glad I didn't because this is super, super cute. So once I'm done cutting this out, I'm just going to trim it out with my paper trimmer and I will adhere it to the new background that I'm gonna be making. So I have a piece of light gray cardstock. This is for a mini slim card panel, and that measures three and a half by six and a half, but I did trim it just about a quarter of an inch smaller. I did prep it with my anti-static powder tool, but I have way too much powder. You do not need to use that much powder. That's just how much came out of my little container. I have the Tailored Expressions Spiderweb Stencil taped down over my mini slim card panel. I'm using Versamark ink and just inking this up really, really good. I wanna make sure I get in all of those little openings of this spiderweb stencil. So make sure your ink pad is nice and juicy. So now that you can see that that is all inked up, I'm gonna use some black embossing powder and this background is gonna be so fantastic. The spiderweb itself is gonna be light gray, and then the background is gonna be this shiny, shiny black. Now, I do like to heat up my power, my uh, heat tool for a really long time, especially on a big thing like this because I don't want it to warp my paper. Now, here's all of these cute images that we already die cut and colored, and I'm just going to adhere these down with some liquid glue. I'm using the Barely Art liquid glue, and I'm also using some foam tape on some of these images. I really like to have dimension on my card, so that's why some of these images have foam tape and some of them don't. For that center ghost, he's gonna have some foam tape for two reasons. I needed to glue his little eyeball back in, so I just put some foam tape behind that. And then, because we're gonna be coloring that in with a glaze pen. Once I have all of my images glued down, I will trim off the excess that is hanging over the edge and adhere this to a white mini slim card panel. So here is the glaze pen for the eyes of the ghosts. And then of course I'm gonna come in with my white gel pen because if you follow me, you know that that is what I like to use. And I'm gonna add highlights. I wanna also say if you guys like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, like and comment. That is so very helpful. And absolutely share with your crafty friends. I really appreciate that. 
So I'm going to finish with the last sentiment that says you are, and the whole thing says you are beautiful. And isn't that just a cute, fun card? You have the nice, shiny black background. Okay, on to our second card. This one was so much fun to make. I am using the open house Halloween, and I'm actually going to also use the open house door base. So I'm stenciling a piece of light gray cardstock with honeybee stamps salvaged brick stencil with black soot because I really want this house to feel kind of creepy dingy kind of a look I am using the door the open house door base and I'm die cutting that from flame cardstock from cardstock warehouse I really kind of wanted a deeper orange for this house now I'm use I'm going to die cut open out some windows and and on this die you will see the little embossed area where there can be windows. You don't have to cut them out, but you should because it's really super cute. Because you get to put these little frames in, and so I'm making black frames with some ebony cardstock. So I'm gonna die cut that out, and along with a bunch of other pieces that go to this house, and bats and the 31 from the open house Halloween, which I'm gonna hear that down, and a bunch of plants that I die cut from black. And so you'll see all of this come together. This is gonna be a pretty spooky house. So I'm adhering down the 31 on the front of the door. There's a cute little mail slot opening and the doorknob that are also black. I am now going to come in with a piece of vellum and adhere it to the back. Now I will say one thing I would have liked to have changed is I should have done the vellum and then popped the door up on foam tape because when I adhere this down, you can not you can see the brick through it. I also added a yellow Copic marker to the back of that vellum because I wanted it to have a little bit, uh, a hint of yellow so it looks like the lights were on. I am now adhering those beautiful black frames inside that opening. This is why I say you want to die cut those out because it's so super cute. And you could do any color frame and that would be darling. So on my stenciled background, I realized I kind of didn't leave the ground. So I'm just coming in with black soot and just inking over it to give us a floor, <laughs> if that makes sense. I need to die cut the little front door mat. So I'm adhering those two or uh, lining up those two pieces, taping that down and running it through my die cut machine. Then I also die cut just the solid piece in black. So when you adhere this light gray to the black background, you're gonna see the hey boo pop. And then there's also a little black strip that goes on the front of that. So I'm just using my liquid glue to adhere that. Now, this is so cute. This is from the Open House Pumpkin Topiary and it is so darling. I die cut it from light gray cardstock. I am coming in with some colors from Pink Fresh's Urban Raincoat Ink Collection and just slightly going over the edges. Because these are etched dies, you have some of those raised edges and when you just lightly run the ink over, it makes these look like those kind of concrete or stone planters. And I think this is my favorite component of this card. So I'm going to adhere all of those little images that make it kind of pop and look 3D. And there's also skulls in the open house Halloween, which I'm going to add to these and they are so cute. So I'm just going to come in with some wild, the wild truffles collection from Pink Fresh, some of their browns. I'm just lightly aging these pumpkins. I don't want anything to look brand new or shiny. I say that, but I'm gonna add glitter in a little bit. But this is just, I don't want, I want everything to kind of look dingy. I want it to look scary and old. So I'm just coming in again with the Urban Raincoat Collection and the Wild Truffles Collection from Pink Fresh. And just using the different colors, there's four inks in each one of those to just to kind of age everything. So browns and grays and blacks are what I'm using. So I'm just gonna kind of get this laid out. I decided to add a little bit of black to these uh, planters and I think that really made a, a huge difference on this design. So we've got these little pumpkin topiaries that we're gonna glue those together. And, but I've got these leaves that I wanna tuck in and around and then I felt like these looked a little too shiny so I needed to change that. Uh, this is some green cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. I added some distressing more distressing to the door and then I'm going to kind of get everything glued and then lay this out so I'm going to layer these pumpkins I'm not using the tops for all three just the tops for the smallest pumpkin which is the top tier when you say you know the, the topiary part of this 
uh, image. So I'm just going to glue those and adhere those and slide those into that planter. It has a little die cut open piece so you can slide those in. So here are the cute little skulls and I'm just using a little bit of gray ink to distress those as well because those have some little a little bit of raised area. This is my favorite, adhering that to the front of these planters. And I think it is so cute. This is so my favorite part. So now I'm going to adhere my little pumpkin top on top. And I will tuck in some leaves on both of those pumpkin topiaries. Again, this is from the Open House Pumpkin Topiary die. I am going to glue on the doorknob and the little mail slot. And then I have die cut all of those leaves but I did it from a black cardstock and I'm instead of making like a wreath I'm just going to make like a swag at the top of the door just using my liquid glue and my tweezers to put those in place and I'm going to layer about three layers there's three different sizes and I'm going to use all three sizes to just really kind of fill this out and then I'm going to finish by adding my third little skull right to the center and I'm going to have some foam tape behind him because I do want him to pop up a little bit and he'll just be centered in that creepy little swag. I just had to glue his little eyeball back in and add a little more distressing. So now I'm going to get this card front adhered. I'm gonna center that door and the little Hey Boo welcome mat. This is where I think I should have added some foam tape behind my door because as soon as I adhere this down, you can see the brick behind it. Or I should have added another piece of white cardstock behind the vellum so you can't see the brick. I really love this card so it doesn't bother me too much, but if I was to change anything, that's what I would change. I am adding some foam tape behind the two pumpkin topiaries because I do want those to be forward more. And I'm just adhering the little tops of those pumpkins on and just right at the front of the card, gluing those down. And isn't this card already turning out so super cute? Like you totally want to trick or treat at this house because it's just kind of awesome and creepy. Now I have my um, little spider webs and I'm adding some Spectrum Noir Crystal Clear glitter pin to it. Felt like that was a tongue twister. And I'm gonna glue those down. I've got three of those. I've got two bats. And I'm just going to glue those all over the front of this house. This little bat will have some foam tape. And that spiderweb will go from like the house to the pumpkin. And then the other one will kind of be at the bottom there. And I will trim off any excess that's hanging over the side of this card panel. I did decide to add a little bit of glitter to the bats and the 31 on the door. I felt like it just needed a little bit of glitter. And isn't that so super darling? I just love how this card turned out. These open house add-ons to the door base are so super cute. And this was just so fun. I want to thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. And I hope that you enjoyed this project. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.